Hi, my name's Asha, and when I'm not composing music, I'm probably sacrificing virgins and drinking the blood of my enemies. But when I'm not doing that, I'm checking out the newest morbid news, which is what I'm going to deliver to you today. If you have stumbled upon this video, I hope you keep watching. Maybe you'll subscribe, maybe you'll comment, maybe you'll tell me I'm awkward, which is all very true. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen people just like delivering morbid news, the stuff that I'm into. I like weird things. If you know me, you know this to be true. I'm very weird. I'm into creepy stuff. I'm a goth, I guess. I don't know. Not really, but I'm definitely into horror films and just scary things in general. So I figured, why not aggregate all my sources of weird stuff into some videos? This story was what inspired me to even do this, um, because I think it has the perfect amount of twisted irony. <laughs> um, so I saw this article about a crematorium burning down in Berlin. Now that's like, you know, standard buildings burn down, things happen, accidents happen. But what really made this one interesting was that there were 20 bodies inside that remained mostly unharmed despite the building burning down in a crematorium. I mean, isn't that your one job as a crematorium? <laughs> is to burn the bodies, right, uh, into ash. And by the way, on the record, when I die, please cremate me. Do not throw my disgusting, rotting corpse in into a coffin, okay? I'm just on the record. And please, if you can, spread it around Vlad the Impaler's castle, because that's probably where I wanted to go. So yeah, I don't know, uh, what are they going to do with those bodies now? I hope they're going to, you know, finish the job. Is there going to be another crematorium that's going to take the mantle and finish it? But the point is, uh, you know, it's kind of really hard to uh, dispose of a body. Just so you know, just burning it is not enough. You need way more heat that is usually provided by a crematorium in a special, you know, furnace to do this job. So if you're planning on, you know, trying to dispose of some bodies in the woods with just some fire, it's not going to work. Life pro tip. The next topic I want to talk about was there's this new Iggy Azalea video. This music video just came out. Um, personally, you know, I kind of like the sugary dumb pop rap that she does. Most people hate her which I think is unfair, you know? She has worked really hard to get here, but you know, I get all the black exploitation stuff, which I'm not going to get into. I'm white. If you haven't noticed, mostly I look like a pale sheet of, of a person, like 90% of the year until summer when maybe I get a tan. I live in New York City, so going outside and getting a tan isn't even that easy. But I personally have enjoyed some of Iggy Azalea's music. Most people don't, and I understand that. Well, she came out with this new song called Sally Walker. Um, I don't really understand what it's about. What I do understand is this music video, which, um, if you watch, it seems like there's a story overarching in the video where she, or someone from what it looks like, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race hits a girl called Sally Walker with a car and, you know, as she's bleeding out, this drag queen is saying, oh honey, at least you look good in red, which, to be fair, most women do. Um, I think what I really like about this video is it's very different from most Iggy Azalea tracks in general. It kind of sounds like Cardi B's um, money track, so it's a little bit derivative, but then again, if you're listening to Iggy Azalea, what are you expecting? It's going to be kind of derivative. Um, but I do like the video. You know what? I appreciate that she's like dancing around in a 
graveyard. Like, that's cool. I, you know, I'm a musician. I make music. And if I had a chance to make a music video where I'm dancing around a graveyard, I mean, that would probably be, like, the first thing that I suggest to be in a music video. It's just me dancing around in a graveyard over Sally Walker's dead body or whoever. You know, that's just, it seems pretty standard for me. Um, no one would be surprised if that ended up being in my music video. So, there's that. And this last thing I just found interesting. Um, a company created a wearable penis camera so you can attach it and uh, make some fun videos if that's what you're into. It's called the Cock Cam. Uh, it's like $160. Uh, and if you're really into wearing this weird looking prosthetic, uh, you too can make some crazy perspective first person penis directed sex videos. So again, if that's what you're into, by all means, man, rock it rock that cock cam. Well, this is all I really uh, wanted to talk about today. Maybe I'll make another one of these. Maybe I'll never make one of these again. You know, if I get even a couple likes, maybe I'll continue making them. Maybe. So yeah, I'm Asha. I like morbid stuff. If you hear or read any interesting morbid uh, stories, please send them my way. Well, maybe I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.